Welcome back to Better Kansas City. Now, heating up the garage, it may seem like a luxury, but it's actually pretty affordable. We have Stu Steve Burbridge, owner of Anthony Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, is here with a show and tell on a new product that could save you money in the long run. Now, first off, this is your garage heater. It's an auto ray garage heater. And it's right. putting out a lot of heat from where it I'm is. standing right it here. Is. So this is going to, can this work in any garage that it, we have? It can. It's infrared heat, so mm -hmm. there's no moving movement of air. It heats objects like the floor in a car. Okay. Uh, so it can be put in any garage. We use a a steel pipe or sometimes a flexible gas pipe and that's uh, we put them in the garage uh, any any really any garage two yeah two stall three stall they work on all does it work um, so like so for example we have a split level home mm -hmm. where my garage is sits over or sits underneath the kids rooms yes, and you know perfect. their floors get cold a lot because uh, right. there's no air moving down right. there so would this help you know not only your heat your garage but then also give them a little bit Absolutely. more comfort Absolutely those those rooms above the garage even a bathroom a lot of bathrooms yeah. freeze above garages you'll never have that issue again with a garage heater well, Let's talk a little bit more about it because I mean I thought from from what you have here it's just run by you know the gas tank but that's not true you guys right. can actually put this into your gas line Right. It, yeah, this is just a demonstrator, but it hooks up with natural gas. Mm -hmm. We can use propane at, at homes that have propane, but yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. And how how easy is it for you guys to come out and install these straight into um, our gas you know, line? We can do it in almost any home. It, it, it depends on the length of gas pipe. Sometimes we might have to go 70 or 80 feet and go through up, sometimes up in an attic and then come back down into the yeah. garage, but we always find a way to do it. And then talk a little bit about the advantage of using gas versus electricity uh, to yeah. heat your home and how we're going to save money in our Yeah, this is home. natural gas only. There is no electricity, so if there's a power outage, you still have heat in your garage. I guess you oh, could go which out is and great. sleep in your garage. But it will keep your pipes from freezing, certainly. And it's very, very inexpensive. Natural mm -hmm. gas right now is very cheap, and it, yeah. has, it will be in the foreseeable future. So, if, And it depends on if you, how much you run it, of course. If you set, your, set the thermostat at 50 degrees, yeah. You know, that feels really good when it's five degrees outside sure, if you yeah. have a 50 degree garage. But you could actually go up to 70 degrees. You know, a lot of people have hobbies or work on their cars. And it just makes your garage a usable space. You want to keep that man cave nice for those of us right. who have, you know, all of our tools and stuff right. when we're out there working. So Absolutely. maybe necessarily we don't need a 70 degree garage. No. But, you know, like you said, when it's five degrees or 20 degrees yeah. outside, you don't want to work in, you know. A, 50 feels great. 50 feels fantastic. Right. So right. and then how does it again, tell me real quick how the thermostat well, works? Well, the thermostat actually works off the pilot. So there is a pilot and it generates a millivoltage which operates the thermostat. There is no electricity uh, that runs. So mm -hmm. it runs just strictly on natural gas. Strictly on natural yeah. gas ties right into your to your gas line mm -hmm. like you said right so no use of electricity well steve we appreciate you here yeah. i'm thinking about one of these from a workshop oh, it's, it's fantastic it comes with a five-year warranty okay um and we you know we do take a permit out um it's great if you have a refrigerator in the garage like extra or freezer you know a lot of times you have to put a coat on to run out in the garage yeah. to get stuff. <laughs> you don't have to do that with a garage heater and when you pull your car in with snow and ice Perfect. We wake up in the morning, it's bone dry All and, right. and, and clean and warm, and it's great. Well, Steve, thanks for your time. Thanks for bringing it by so we can check it out. Hey, call Steve and his team today at A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, and that's for both Kansas and Missouri, or you go online to anthonyphc.com. And don't miss out on a Teaching Tuesday to learn more from Steve and his team on December 18th. The topic is air quality in your home. It's at 530 at their home base in Lenexa, and they will also be streaming it live on Facebook.